Good Tuesday evening, everybody. Come on in. No, this is not a picture in technical. This is real, live, fresh veggies and a little bit of fruit. I'm getting ready to put it in the oven, and we're going to have some good old roasted veggies all on one baking sheet for dinner this evening. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get ready to season it. I'm going to put it into a 425 degree oven for about one hour and everything will be baked and finished cooking at the same time. I got a green apple, asparagus, baby carrots, uh, I was going to say cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and sweet potatoes. So what I'm going to do with my, uh, mm, if I haven't gotten destroyed it already I, I've got some uh, let me find it I got some melted butter and brown sugar that I want to put on my potatoes okay. the kids are here with me Woo. tell you what they have given me a run for my money this day Doc, if I ever got a run for my money I got it today y'all Telling you the truth, these little ones, and as you know, Norik has started his uh, online schooling, so that's good. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna have to redo my sugar because I left it in too long. If you leave it in too long, you know, the caramelize. So, all I gotta do, I'm gonna try to get as much in my. I'm using that plant butter that we talked about a while back. The sugar is definitely, I can't use it. It's already, I can make some little candy drops out of it. So tell me, what have y'all been doing on this beautiful Tuesday? It was more like, a, almost like a spring day today. Excuse me? Okay, you put that over there till I finish. I don't want you by the stove. The stove's hot right now, baby. Can't come over here right now. Yeah, when I finish, I'll fix it for you. I can't fix it now. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to get a, I'm, I'm using a tablespoon of plant butter and uh, about a, a couple tablespoons of brown sugar to put over my sweet potatoes to get, just to give them a little extra added oomph. And since I've gone ahead and uh, over baked my butter and sugar together, I'm just going to spread this butter onto these potatoes like so. And then I'll sprinkle the sugar right on top of them. It'll do the same thing. It's just been a real lot easier if I had it all melted up and just pour it right over. But nonetheless, we're going to do it this way. I got the kids here, and you know how that goes. Now, you have to give them every bit of attention when they're moving around. Woo. I'm going to tell you, this online learning for these kids, especially for these wee ones, let me tell you, hats off to y'all parents. I'm telling you, it's a chore. It's a job. It's a challenge. But it's a much needed, necessary thing for the little ones because they can't go into school. We don't want them in school. So we have to... Uh, do that learning that early childhood learning with the little ones just like we have to do with the older ones but you know you have to monitor those little ones huh? you have to be right on top of them and actually you are really the teacher with them that's like homeschooling and i'm gonna say this if you're not used to doing that it takes a lot of energy patience time and a lot of heart to do it so my hat's off to and i've always respected teachers period but my hat's always been off even more for parents who homeschool their children because they feel that they'll get a better education so now these days people having to do homeschooling without having a homeschooling training so it's a big job y'all because when Nari comes over here the days that he comes and stays with me you know of course I have to help him and I'm sprinkling brown sugar right now y'all I have to go ahead and help him of course with his uh, school work and it's something to do. And they have, you know, this work for a preschool. And this is not kindergarten work. Lord have mercy. I don't know what we might do about kindergarten work. But that preschool work 
is a lot and when you is a lot and when you think about it it has to be in depth and detail because you're building that basic foundation with these little ones and it's a challenge so child look anybody that's doing this work i'm praying for you i'm praying with you i'm praying about you because it is a great challenge to do so we just gonna keep right on he, now now rick had a big big challenge today okay y'all i had to pause for a minute to settle a little dispute over there by the table and the dispute was for between Callie and her headphones. She's in a little cranky mood this evening and has been for most of the day. I don't know what what little homegirl is all riled up about, but she's been in a little mood all afternoon. So um, she had a little nap, and when she gets, you know how some kids is, and she's one of those children that, when if she don't have that nap, she be real cranky. So she had the nap, but that crankiness is still there. So I had to, I had to go ahead and settle that little dispute, so I can get back to what I'm doing. Cause you know how that go. I got lots of patience, but they have a limit too. Bye. Okay. Now I'm back again, y'all. So what I'm doing is just sprinkling uh, my veggies with my olive oil, and then once I do that, I'm gonna start putting the season on, and they're gonna go in the oven. I can hardly wait. I'm about beside myself to get to eating, and I love me lots of nice olive oil. Now, this is a fish and chip spice. My spices that my dear friend from uh, Africa I, sent to me. I did Okay, keep it down a little bit, y'all, y'all, for me, okay? Y'all, please, ma'am, please, sir. Right, you have to do this work with you a little bit. My friend Fatima and Khadija sent me this. Fatima, I hope your channel continues to soar. You're doing so well, girl. I am so proud for you. So glad for you and proud of you. This, any of that seasoning that that I have in this line is just you just won't believe it. I'm sorry y'all. I don't know how to tell y'all to get a hold of it, but anywho. Outside of this miracle season, you can put now the, the I'm we're gonna say these are the lay seasons, the seasons that are readily available. Okay. This is garlic powder. Of course you should hear my babies over there singing. I don't know what they're singing. Well, some little kind of song they got going. If it picks up on this recording, y'all, I'm not claiming nothing but them babies. The music is not mine, okay? They sound so sweet and angelic over there singing some little cartoon song. But I think they're out of earshot of the camera. Anyway, uh, this is some um, onion powder. Like I said, I'm putting them in a 425-degree oven. For about one hour 45 minutes to an hour just depends okay now as you know um lemon pepper goes well to me with brussels sprouts so i'm gonna sprinkle my brussels sprouts and my asparagus with some lemon pepper season well i guess i might as well go and do the carrots too it's not gonna make that much difference okay Give them a generous little sprinkle and that is the only salt well my uh um my fish and chips uh seasoning from um my dear sweet friends has a little bit of salt in it. just a little bit not a whole lot Whew, this, i just cannot hardly wait for this i'm gonna have me a raw one mm. yum yum okay now i got one more season to put on there Oh, my black pepper. I'm going to sprinkle some black pepper on there. Little, 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 little black pepper. Not a lot. Okay. Now, this is my everything but the kitchen sink seasoning. All my dry seasons from the cabinet. Give a little sprinkle of that. Okay. 
Okay, now we are ready to get these babies into the oven. And uh, when they come out, they're going to be ready to eat. Okay. In the oven top rack, y'all. So now the other thing that I want to fix to go with it. Now this is because, you know, of course, Kareem is here and he's a meat eater and yada yada. I have to fix some meat. The babies already ate early. They like those little wrapped up corn dogs and some. I, I fix them stuff. I know that they're gonna really, 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 really eat. Now they might try a few of these veggies out, no, but I went ahead and fed them earlier to quiet them down. Nice little salad with ham and cheese and a little salad dressing, a little old bit of a salad dressing on there. A little short corn dogs, and they ate it well. And a nice ice cream sandwich. So. The other thing that I'm going to prepare, might as well keep it rolling. They're having a discussion. I'm sure y'all can hear them. This is certified Angus beef in a shaved brisket. So I'm going to do this shaved brisket. Never have tried it before. It came in a one pound package. Where did I get this from? Came from Food Wire. Now that I purchased it and only got. Okay. My video cut off on me. I have um, this uh, talking Bible on my phone. So ever so often it'll come up and it'll say pray. That is a great thing for me because I'm always talking about um, praying without ceasing. So I appreciate that prompt. Because you know sometimes like anything else, even with prayer, sometimes we'll forget to do it. And God knows I need all the prayer that I can get and all that I can muster for someone else. So I, I'm just grateful to the Lord that I came upon that little uh, Bible study portion of my phone. And what it does, like I say, it just prompts me about, I guess about every hour, no, not about every hour, maybe every three or four hours, because it's not every hour, only hour. But all throughout the day, it'll prompt me, and it'll just simply say, pray, so. What, baby? I have a Oh, I'm sorry. You told me I'm talking to Tyler. Excuse me. I don't think this meat. This meat is already seasoned a little bit, so, okay. We'll go along with that. So, what I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to put some more seasoning on. I'm going to put me some oil in my pan, some olive oil in my pan, and go ahead and proceed to put other seasonings on here, along with some onions. And I'm going to saute it. I might even do a little rice. Kareem might want a little rice. You can always eat rice, honey. That uh, jasmine rice, honey, sometimes I'll do me just a bowl of jasmine rice with some of my salsa over it, which is wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and let this heat, uh, this all heat up, and I'll be right back because it's nice. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm getting ready to go ahead and drop me some onions in that oil and let them start to saute. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I, I got it. I got it. You got it. All right. I got it. She's been trying to do this little game. I don't know what game, because I don't know anything about the game. But she's been trying to bless her husband. That's why she's been cranky all day. She got it, Callie. I'm so excited that she got it, baby. She takes such a little thing to make little babies happy. Okay. I'm saying I'm sauteing these onions. And you all know the process of sauteing onions. I've got some already sliced uh, peppers and onions, but I think I'm not going to use them because they're frozen and I don't want any extra condensation in my pot, in my skillet, rather. So let's just go ahead and get this meat going in here. And what I'm going to do with the meat. is I'm going to lay it right on top. It's shaved. This meat is shaved. So I'm going to lay the shaved meat right on top of those onions like so. And as that, those onions cook, it will cook. This, this is a pound of uh, shaved meat, so this ought to be good. I think it's always too 
Okay, I'm gonna get excited about this meat now. I'll sprinkle a little bit of my everything in the kitchen sink. And I'm well, I've got some um, beef seasoning and some seasoning like that with some a uh, little bit of turmeric and uh, other African seasoning in there. So I'm just gonna put that particular type of seasoning on there. So you know you can put like seasoning, and I'm sorry, um, the complete seasoning will go well on there. Um, a little Worcestershire with soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, any of those type of seasons will go well on this meat. Okay, I think I just picked up the wrong one, but anyway, this, this is going to work. And I'm going to get me some, I'm going to try a little curry on it. Keep that heat real high so it works, so you don't get a lot of condensation, please. Please keep that heat high. Okay, that's a little uh, turmeric and curry powder, uh, a little onion powder, I'm going to put a little garlic powder on there. We're going to make this a uh, shaved brisket our own. I've never seen it shaved in little packets like that. So I got that heat all the way up high. Which is where I'm going to keep it because again I want it to just cook. extra juice in there, but I want a little bit because I tell you I'm going to get some raw here, I got to do my rice, so I'm going to let that cook for a little while, and we shall return. Okay, y'all, this meal is ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Look at those veggies. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Fit for the queen that's going to eat them, and for the king that could eat them, so... We're going to go on back here to the back. I did some uh, seasoned rice, and I just put all my seasons out of the uh, cabinet. Uh, celery, uh, I'm sorry, not celery, but onion powder, garlic powder, uh, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, some salt, pepper, all the seasons out of the cabinet, just to season up some of my Asian spices. And, of course, that's that shaved brisket. It was pre-seasoned, but I put a few more seasons on there. To just to uh, boost it up a little bit garlic onion powder and a little bit of uh, turmeric and curry powder and of course you know we sprinkled our veggies up really really good so we're getting ready to sit back and relax and enjoy this meal this is a nice healthy meal and can be on your table believe it in 45 minutes it's a beautiful meal it's a healthy tasty meal so i uh, hope you pay attention to the recipe and try it out because it is really good. I love veggies and this is a good way to have them to make them real nice and tasty. I hope this has been a blessed day for you. Hoping that you all have continued to pray without ceasing. Stood in the gap for somebody. Made somebody today. Gave them a good meal, a good uh, word from God. Or something good. Had some good old memories to reflect back on. And just to pray for the things of this world. So, listen guys, until I decide to cook again, I love y'all so much. Keep praying for me and I'll do the same for you. Until I cook again and y'all keep those prayers going up to the blessings. And so the blessings will continue to come down. Toodaloo.